I found it. It's up right there. Oh my god. And the ruins are over there. Holy shit.
crazy that like there's ancient ruins right across the thing. People used to live up here. That blows my mind. breakfast to get a coffee and then I have to drive the rental car back to Phoenix drop it off uber to the airport and go home I didn't really film much after the cave last night because I'm not gonna lie when I got to the ruins I had this like energy come over me and I got emotional and I was like crying and I was like whoa this is weird so I've seen a video or two of people like while they're there, they like walk into the ruin part and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I was like, this doesn't feel right. It, do it just feels disrespectful. And also because it was later on in the evening and like kind of getting close to darkish, it, um, you know, was a little more eerie than if it was like middle of the day. <clears throat> so yeah. And then I had to like rush back to the car before it got too dark outside and it was, I couldn't really film in that while rushing through the trail. So yeah, I got back and everything ended up being closed for food. So, cause everything closes pretty early here. So I actually just went to Safeway, the grocery store and got one of those little sandwiches from the deli, got some chips and some more water, had that for dinner, came to McDonald's, changed in my car, put up a little barricade on one side and just slept in the back seat.
so I just finished up my breakfast. <clears throat> it's 9.30. I have like about a two-hour drive to the airport. My flight's not for a few hours, so I'm gonna have some time to kill at the airport, but that's okay. This is a really cool place. Like, there's so much to do and so much hiking, and the energy here is really interesting. And I'm not gonna lie, the thought of me leaving and driving away is making me want to cry. So, that's interesting as well. And last night was crazy too with the ruins. <clears throat> I got really, like, emotional. And I was just like, whoa. People used to live up here. But, yeah. Let's hope I don't cry on my way out. <laughs> but hey, it's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with showing emotion. So, record much during my time at the airport I just kind of like was so zoned out and tired and I still am but I napped a little bit on the flight it wasn't too bad it was about like four hours and I took American again and I took I got a whole row so I like attempted to lay down and take a nap and I think I did nap for a little bit after watching a movie but Oh, it feels so good to be home, and I can't wait to sleep in my own bed. <laughs> it's going to be glorious. I feel really gross as well, but I can take a quick shower and take care of that once I get home. <laughs> hey guys, so I am now home, as you know. Um, <laughs> I look like I got a little bit of sun. Um... I got home super late, I showered, and I went to bed at like 2 something in the morning, and I woke up at like noon. I slept so much, I was so tired. I didn't mean to sleep in that late, but I like just like woke up and looked at the time. I thought it was going to be like maybe 10 at the latest, and it was like 12 something, and I was like... So I am unpacking putting things away, and getting ready for um, going back to work on Tuesday. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these vlogs. Be sure to like and subscribe for more. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Cast the Nomad. Um, yeah, so back to the grind, back to reality, and got lots of photos to edit, but I will be contemplating when and where my next adventure is going to be. <laughs>